Welcome, everyone, to the Real Who Dreams cast, episode 892. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Well, the doctor came back and sewed my head back onto my body. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, first off, I have to uh, say something. There was many a cast that I had said, as well as everybody on my show, we were, like, talking deep thought that – the doctor has to fix the New York problem. Mm-hmm. We could travel through time in New York. And I said constantly, I don't care what anybody says, I was like, there's going to be some point in time that the doctor is just going to go to New York, create a device, and fix the problem. Nobody made a big deal, but it may be like, oh, no, it's done. It's never going to happen. Well, it did happen. Okay, yeah. It happened in a Christmas special. Moffat listens. Okay? <laughs> he does listen. He throws it in episodes you don't expect, but yeah. I, I, I really believe that he watches everybody's shows because he's like, you or know it, what? Or, I do need to address that. He may not watches everybody's shows, but he does catch wind. Right. Maybe he say, oh, did you hear what happened on Rehoboam's Cast? Did you hear what happened on this one show? Mm-hmm. A snippet or something or, you know, the forums or whatever. But let me tell you something. He did explain something. Uh, to my satisfaction, okay, the way I looked at it, and I'm not, this is a little thing, yeah. but to us, it's a huge thing because it opens up the doors for many of an episode, right? So to me, the Christmas special, in, in case you didn't realize it, has special ties to River Song, mm-hmm. Amy and Rory, yeah. the Weeping Angels, the Time Distortions, Unit, okay? Big effing deal this episode. Little things in the background, but add up to a huge thing. Easter eggs. They're little Easter eggs. A huge effing thing. Because, again, he's to me, he solved two things. Or he tried to solve two. Okay, he tried. Okay, okay. He tried to solve one, where it was fixing the New York problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here's the thing. He said there were four of those gems. Four. Grant swallowed one. Yeah. There are three more, and he has a time machine. So I'm, sh- I'm pretty sure, okay, on a good authority, that the New York City problem has been solved off, off screen. Okay? I think it has something to do with Nardal using the TARDIS and going off on his own adventures. Maybe yep. he got a gem. Because let me tell you something. I've never known a companion other than River Song that was able to operate this, the TARDIS. Flying the TARDIS and doing their own adventures. I'm like, what the hell happened? Nardo was, went to Egypt or whatever the hell he did. Maybe he got a China. stone it from like China or something. Well, where did he go? It looked like China because he had that little... I thought he went to Egypt. But he, got, he must have got he the, went a stone. To Egypt, but he, was, uh, he must have just came back from China. Right, but I'm pretty sure he, got, he must have got a stone for that thing or yeah. whatever. The other, but anyway, it was amazing... That little thing is a lot to me. Huge thing. Okay? And it was like only spent a minute or two on it. So right away I'm like, fucking love it. All right? Fucking love it. So so that I, I'm like a geek. I'm like, I fucking love it. So then then the whole thing with the and Sharon called it. She's like, he gave the kid water, he said he's a doctor and this thing, and he swallowed. And it. the kid thought the little right. deal was so a then pill. Like, shit. Basically, and, and then it can't be given a superhero. I actually, you know what? I'm a superhero nut. I love, you know what? I loved it. I, I, I thought I was gonna hate it. I can't hate it. I friggin' yep. loved it. Okay, they actually explained in a very good and excellent manner right. how he gained his powers instead of go, oh, Hi, I'm from another world. No, he popped what he thought was a pill, and you know what? It was accurate because I'll tell you why yeah. the kid liked. He had Marvel on his walls, mm-hmm. and okay, a and a DC comic book. And, you know, Peter Capaldi said, well, great power comes with great responsibility for yes. Spider-Man. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know what? If anybody wanted to butter me up, you fucking butter me up. I, I Moffin must have known, you know what? Let me try to throw some shit in there because fucking I love you, man. I fucking love you for doing that. I fucking love it. How could I say it's horrible? It's not. So, I listen. If it was implied or not, in fact, they kept on saying they they planted all these bases in 
in capital cities. And Narla was the one that says, but New York's not a capital city. Right. <laughs> I'm in New York. Love Spider-Man. <laughs> Fucking love this shit. So anyway, and, no, it was not about me. But it's just a thing that it, it just so happened to love that shit. So um, I really liked it. Now, as far as the Nardle thing goes, I mean, he also got me too, Moffat, with the River thing. Because I really yes. love River Song. So to, to have that little sidebar where he's not mentioning her name, yeah. only geeks like us know what the hell you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Until the end, where he flat out says, and what did I tell you? I called it. I says, I bet you anything, he's staying with her. He's not traveling with the TARDIS, nothing, for a full 24 years. I said that shit, and you know what? I was right. Yeah, and Narla even it. said it. Narla said it. Didn't fuck, they were basically like a married couple. Completely fucking happy, normal fucking life. And the gal, the gal says, wrong question, who was she? I mean yep. that that the reporter in her saw it right at the minute. It wasn't the it wasn't what happened to him in the past per se. It was actually a woman who he cared about that he saw that he lost. Right. And but it was very telling what he said though. You gotta really pay attention because he says everything ends, but but things could have new beginnings. Mm -hmm. He's basically talking about bringing back River, yeah. restoring River. Hey, listen, maybe he tested things. Maybe he planned things with Nardle. Hey, mm -hmm. if I could reattach your head. There's I a good could, chance I could pull her out. I'm pretty line. sure. Which I'll, I will say this much. Those two episodes alone were my, my, one of my favorite episodes of the Tenet era. Yeah. I, I keep losing count of how many times I go, you know, there's nothing else to do. I'll go back and I'll rewatch right. it. But I got to tell you, he probably used the nanogenes. From the friggin' episode where there was his first mm -hmm. doctor, the empty child, the doctor dances. Excuse me, yep. I was like getting choked up here. The empty child, yeah. The empty child and doctor dances. Yep. He used the nanogenes to restore Nardle with his head to his body without any scars. So I'm telling you right now, that's how it was done. Yep. Okay. Th they'll either hint to it later on, yes. or they will actually state, "Yeah, it's just a little gene, little gene therapy." I did. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing, and that the big thing this season you're going to find out is that he gets her body, he puts the nano genes on it, and he uses the tar the uh, sonic screwdriver to upload River's intelligence back into the screwdriver and into her body. They may set this, I'll say this much, they'll probably set it up this season, but they'll either wait, if not, if not this upcoming Christmas episode, then the one, then the actual 11th season. They'll There's no doubt in my mind she's returning. There's yeah. no effort. But they're setting it up. This time. They're definitely with, coming back. Yeah, they're going to set it up. It's a big they're thing. They're going to do it, because I don't think they want to throw that all in one punch. Oh, no. Let me tell you, you want to mention all this shit about River. She's yeah. definitely coming back. Absolutely. But, I'm calling that shit. Like I said, spacing it out. So that way it's like, ooh. So you're more in the wait and it's like, oh, they're going to do it this season. No. They're right. going to do it this episode, uh, Christmas episode. No. And then it's just like, boom, there she is. All right. So let's get actually into, instead of the sidebar stuff, let's actually get into what the episode was about. Okay. Um, Grant gets superpowers from the doctor's intervention. The doctor shows up in his time stream as he's growing up, which I like that whole thing in school. He's like, he's going through puberty, then he's going in the air. He, like, pulls him down. That was hysterical. That was hysterical. You're thinking of her, aren't you? No. Yeah. No. Uh, the normal thing, at first, when he said the line, yeah, where's the little boy's room? I thought that was, like, freaky. When he's like, no, the bathroom, no, little I'm like, what are you talking about? Restroom. What the, I mean, but he's alien. alien. He's alien. He's alien. Yeah. So you don't know what the hell they're talking about. So um, I thought that was freaky, but I'm like, okay. But Nardo was okay. It yeah. wasn't, we didn't call him Nardal, we called him Nardal. Yeah, Nardal. Nardal, which did, River called him Nardal, right? Mm hmm He's like, Nardal. Like, okay. That was weird. But it was kind of weird. Like, he just knows how to fly his hardest. What the fuck? Like, he, he control it. He, he's like, all right, yeah, I'm, 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 this is my thing, man. 
Like, maybe, is he a mechanic? I mean, what is he doing? Like, we'll probably he... find out later in the season. I mean, he's traveling around without the doctor. What's going on with that? That's weird. That he taught him just the base stuff in case uh, something happened to him. But then you know, though, like, that he could snap, he could do a signal, and the TARDIS comes wherever he is. So, in other words, he's not afraid of losing the TARDIS forever, which is yeah. weird. I'm like, okay. Yeah, cause I know, because what I thought at first, because I wasn't even thinking Narnal was going to be in it, I thought he did the whole whistling thing uh, as an as an ode to K9, and he, just like they said in one episode, snapping his fingers, the doors would open and close. Well, that's what River said. She, she, that's what she knew from Capaldi. But um, I I I I like the whole you know Superman type thing, a little elements of Batman, elements whatever. I, I mean, some people would see it as corny. I, I got where they were going with it. I'm, I, and again, it's a Christmas episode, so you can't exp, you can't think it's going to be like serious. It I mean, was, it's, it's, it was real neat to see those uh, those one brain those splitting head guys as a holdover from uh, the husbands of River Song. And then what we got is we also got them saying, "Oh, somebody needs to contact Osgood." So yeah. I'm like, "Oh shit, she's big in unit now, like big big." You know, I mean, yeah, we got, uh, you know, Kate, but Osgood's probably big up on the charts there, you know? So that was interesting. Um, little subplot that the guy lived and he's part yeah. of unit. He somehow absorbs whatever. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I even said it on a Facebook thing. Says, yeah, I had a feeling when you didn't see the guy's face, but you heard his voice, that's what happened is they did a little, a little yeah. shift. But I, I got to tell you, I, I liked a lot. To me, I really don't have fault with this episode. I mean, people were like, I understand what people are saying. You know what, though? It's Christmas. Maybe it's because I'm jolly in a good mood, I guess. And it was, a, and they actually did a, a very, they didn't do it so corny and cor corky. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's, this, this is just stupid. They did a great job. And I'll sort of, I'll say this. I was sort of upset to find out that that, the whole preview thing we saw was the first few minutes of the uh, of the episode. But other other than that, yeah. Now let's get into the series ten trailer. I seen it about ten times already. Yeah, I saw it before I saw the. Uh, yeah, I know. The first time I saw it, I'm like, you know, roll my eyes a little bit. But then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I was liking it more and more. And then I'm saying to myself, okay. I get that she's like the ace character, professor, whatever. Doctor what? And it's Dr. not that she's stupid, but she's not, she's different. She's not stupid. She's just not into science and space. So she don't know what the hell's happening. She's like, what? Oh. Yeah. And like, you know, you get these weird reactions that throw him off. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I got to use the toilet. You have a toilet, like different things, you know. Oh, this is like a kitchen. He's like, what? And, you know, different things. So I, I, I like it, actually. I like it because it is fresh. It's from... It brings new, fresh eyes to things. I think the fact that uh, since if it's true that she is from the past and... No, uh, she's not. Oh, she's not? Oh, I was hoping she'd be from... No, that was just wearing the thing. No, she's from the present, actually. Uh -oh. But, uh, but I, I like Still, it. It's, not... it's pretty funny. You taste the lunch lady on the <laughs> No, but I, 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 I like I it. Adam Sandler to come up uh, and start singing the lunch lady. See, the thing is that, I, you know, we want, did I like it better than the Series 9 trailer? No. Because I like the, dun, 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 dun. And they show the seriousness of stuff and the darkness. Nah, 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 nah. You know, and he's like, and he's Maybe like, I can with a combination of Nardle and her, that's how they get away from I mean, it was a comedy thing. So, I mean, it wasn't really, they didn't show seriousness of, Series 10, they showed a lightheartedness. So, I, I, but again, I, we saw the Daleks. I mean, did anybody think that the Daleks weren't going to appear? Like, is there anybody that actually thought they weren't going to appear? Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure we told everybody many times that uh, they're pretty much going to appear. Contract that got to be in every season, whether it's whether it's I mean, and I. And I'm okay with that because I like the Daleks. So who cares? You don't have to. Whatever. But you know what? I'm full fledged. I I feel that Moffat basically answered two big questions for me. Maybe there's 99 more to go. I guess. <laughs> and I, I, we're going to be making a chart. Boop, boop, 
boop, like for each episode, he solved 10 things in three minutes. No, whatever. Take a drink every time Nardle does something. He's like, yeah, you know, we, I had this Carverian lady. I left her in, like, Paris or something. Like, like just like, she didn't lie. She didn't die. That's all the timeline. He'll do, like, a throwaway line. I'm like, oh, I'm Furridge. Yeah. over there. It's like, okay. So I got to say, I, I actually am happy. I'm motivated to do, like, 20 Rear Hoovian's Kiss this week. I'm really happy. Thank you for, like, revitalizing me with Dr. Yeah. Who. Um, I did enjoy it very much and i have nothing bad to say about the christmas special i'm not going to rate it yet because it was fun and i you know it's like christmas and i mean maybe i'll rate it some, sometime down the road it is on i will say this much i just checked stream lord it is now up and running so so if you want to watch it without the commercials you can right. watch it so i'm gonna say great job moffat yes great job at the christmas I to, special. I mean, i'm sorry i have to agree Listen, man, he did all the right things that I thought in this episode, and no complaints, really, for me. I mean, I, I can't speak for the many, many, many Rehovians cast members that are going to be on here, but that's their opinion. We're going to have to see. I'm sure everybody really has a voice. They really, really want to talk about it, so we have to respect, we respect all different opinions, and it doesn't have to be my opinion. I will yeah. have to say this much. I'm going to go back and rewatch it because I don't know if uh, – if the doctor actually drew the drew the makeshift glasses on the comic, so I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that. Well, there's certain things I wanna I wanna look at too because there's some things that were said fast. Yeah, and I wanna see if they're tied to something else. Yeah, you know, I, I mean we do di dissect the episode in a good way uh, yeah. for the betterment of the future of Doctor to see what the hell they're talking about. Um, so I am interested in um, if I missed anything. Uh, there was one part that just, there was something happened that distracted me when I was trying to watch the thing. And of course I get beeps and different things, uh, that I was like, Oh, why did I look at my dip? Like I, it wasn't going to do a spoiler, but somebody, there we go. There's the page as a, a, a on stream Lord. So y'all can see right there, okay. the 25th, uh, the... that's not it. <laughs> That's 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 not it, dude. That's oh, it's my, bad. my bad. My bad. My All right, bad. Get off. Get this off here. No, pre no promoting any other things. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't even know what that is. What is that? All right. Get off. The Cancel that? out the uh, screen share there. But um. Escape. Maybe that might. Oops. I don't know how. Yeah. That. No. Can't can't cancel out that thing. Can't cancel out. Okay. Uh, how do I? I don't know. Okay, but Didn't you cancel it? Yeah, I forgot how I did it. I hit it once, and I don't remember how I did it. Oh. Huh? Just, ah, just I... stop it. Hit X this out. X this out right here. See right there? X that out. Right there. Uh, right there. Right on top. The thing right there. This is watch Dr. X that out. Black. Oh, man. Uh, X this Black. out. Watch Doctor Who 2005. There's a little X right there. Upper right-hand corner, look. Just X that out. Over to the right. Over more, 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 more. Keep going. Where are you? I'm over. Don't you think I'm so white? Okay, now move over to the right. Keep okay, I'm over to the right. In the white part. Keep going. Keep okay. right, right. No, right. Keep going, right. Wait, wait, stop. Stop. Where are you going? No, stop. Go up. Stop moving the arrow! Wait. Okay. Listen to me. Okay. Move it up. Up. Wake up. Okay, stop. Go to the right. A little bit. Okay, I'm going to my right. No, not your right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My left. What the hell am I talking about? I'm sorry. Go to the left. Go to the left. Go to the left. 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 Up. 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 Right. Go to right. Go to right. Go to right. Go to right. Move the arrow to the right. Your right. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, okay. dude. Okay. okay. Oh, right no, you see this past tense. Okay, there we go. All right. there oh. go. <laughs> I just saw the red just because because on my uh, screen, you can show up too far up. That's just it. You're turning right. It's a, but I'm looking backwards. I'm telling you right, but it's left, and it's like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. No, man. by the time I got over there, see, my screen, that little section you were telling, telling me about, was was like too far up, so I couldn't see it at first. Right. Let me uh, 
So I got to wait another hour, an hour and a half for that Christmas special to go up. All right. Oopsie. <laughs> I want to see if anybody wants to pop in, talk about it. Okay. Uh, at least we can get Gloria in here too. We'll see. Yeah, because I get popping onto that side every now and then. I think, oh, good. And then I, really, then I think when I chatted with you last, it's like, oh, man, there's going to be commercials in it. So they're going to. All right. So, we're, so why don't you talk about it for a little bit while I can try to get Gloria in here because I have to copy and paste this thing. So. All right. Folks. You, you will have a, what I think is kind of neat as well as they had, I think they threw in a little bit of a, a chameleon circuit type of setup at the beginning. Because he said, because a little kid, Grant said, it looks like a Christmas tree. And you're looking at the, all this jumbledness of wires and all that. Thinking, okay, if you see it as a Christmas tree, I guess you have to see it as a Christmas tree. And I have to honestly say that whole baby monitoring thing he had in his hand, that was perfect. That was a great, great touch. And the fact that Grant says, oh, like you're not going to wear the little red number. And then when she shows up on the uh, <laughs> roof wearing the little red number, it's like. I liked it that, that he babysat for the reporter that, and who knew that they were in school and he loved her and stuff. That mm -hmm. was interesting. I'm like, oh, my God. So that's the a fact that they concealed face in school, too. That was also what I thought was going kind of Hayden! Funny. What's that? Right in the rear Wolverine's cast. Did you see it? Uh, no, I probably never will see it, but <laughs> you know, go ahead. Go ahead. You didn't see the Christmas special? How was it? It was good? It was good. How was noodles? No, Nardal. Nardal, oh, the no, doctor no. calls him. The doctor oh, calls him Nardal. I watched the Series 10 trailer. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Uh, are you gonna watch the Christmas special or no? Uh, no. Nah. Right, can I spoil something for you? Yeah, go for it. Remember how we had in the podcast we were talking about he needs to go to New York and fix why he can't go to New York? Yeah. The time that he did that, Moffat freaking listens. Yeah. So Moffat basically has him make this device to try to fix time so he could travel to New York in time. Which, thank oh. God. Yeah. So we. I mean, I mean, he was unsuccessful because the gem that was supposed to use to power it, the guy swallowed as a kid and became a hero. But you know what? It was pass good. It at some time. Listen, hey, it was a good episode, and I'm sure off screen, uh, the doctor's going to fix the problem with New York because it was on his mind. So I'm glad Moffat did that. We also, another mystery was solved that the doctor did spend 24 years with River Song until she went to the library. So. 24 real years completely. What, at the same towers? Yeah, uh, yes, Dur Durillium, yeah. So he was there with her for 24, 24 years. years. 24 years. That's a long time. That's well, they were a married couple for 24 bad. years doing normal stuff. Did they have a baby? We don't even know. Oh, that's another mystery. We don't even know yeah. if anything could have been like that. Surely. Could be, maybe you never know. Never I, didn't even, know. I didn't even think of that to tell you the truth. Twenty-four years, you mean you could have pumped one out? Maybe they out. did. <laughs> maybe they did actually. I don't even think of that. Huh? How was your Christmas? My Christmas was excellent. Yeah, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Oh yeah. I know. I got my. I got my book. In the, oh, yeah. From Amazon, I had to buy it myself because my publisher was snail mail. So I actually got my, my book. Um, I was wondering if that was... Uh, that was the yeah, Amazon. I, I, I'm, I'm voting on my Matrix Lord merchandise. So this is a no. This hat's going to be a no. Um, it's just too... When I, you know, Matrix Lord merchandise is not going to be for sale. It's, no, it's not could working you, out. Could you get sued for that because it's a Doctor Who picture? What are you talking about? It's Matrix Lord. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like yeah, my Matrix right, right. notebook there. I'm not selling this stuff. This is my stuff. So, I like my notebook there. That's cool. 
I like my pens. Matrix Lord pen. Oh, oh that's, that's a cool pen. Yeah, or my own upside down. Okay. So, I'm a Matrix Lord. I like my other mug that I made up with Matrix Lord. Then, if you want to really get crazy, we got the Matrix Lord calendar there. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, good Lord, help us. What? <laughs> Let's see. Wait, what do we have here? For February. For 212, we have, oh my God. And who's that? Oh this guy. Go back. Go back. Go back. This guy. This Ali. This Chris. This Albert. Oh, you made. You made a graphic designer. You made a graphic designer. <laughs> Scott's on. Scott's on my wall. <laughs> now there you are, Scott. Look at that. Time. You're 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 a calendar yep. on my wall, Scott. Now I can watch you all the time. I know, man. What the hell? I know it's cool. It was it's a joke. It was corny. I mean, I got me with my doing my book thing. What else do I have in here? Could you guess what another one is? Well, this is me with my my other book there. It's that's not joke. narcissistic. That's not narcissistic at all to have oh. a character. Oh. Me with the ghost. It's a joke, dude. It's supposed to be a joke. But <laughs> me with the Ghostbusters. Hi, oh, my name is Bill. I cook chips. <laughs> Listen, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who wrote that line? My name is Bill. I cook chips. Well, he wrote that. Obviously. This is me Halloween. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who was I trying to be? Never Scott does. No, seriously. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's pimping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> And we got the Rogue One picture, man. We were going to Rogue One on there in December, so all has meaning. It was pretty funny to do. See that one with the half of the glasses that he was trying out to be a drug dealer on? Uh, my no, 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 I was. It's Halloween Mafia. What are you talking about? Oh, this Come is fun. What are you talking about? All right, so the hat, the hat's negative. I had to know. This design would have to reject. Yeah, I don't like this. Right here. I don't like this. It's kind of like you can't even see it. It's like I have oh, to go like this for you to see it. It's like and in most days, and in most days, you wear it backwards anyway. It didn't. Well, it doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't you know, yeah. represent. You know, and that's not really working. So, not a represent. Reje rejected on the hat. But anyway, it was still, it was still perfect. I got a curry from my sister. Yes, yeah, I got that. a curry. I got, got a curry. curry. I got a curry, man. I'm back. I'm in the freaking 21st century now. I'm at a curry. Yeah, you um, got a curry. How does it taste? Starbucks puts them out. Well, too. I always had a curry at work, and and I had it before. You know, so it, of course I love the curry. It's great. You got a curry. A car. A car. That's next. Listen, we got to save stuff for next year, right? A brum brum car. Dude, I, I, we got to have a nice car next year. And a wedding and everything else. Come on. 2017 will be even better. See? Yeah, I need a new car. My car's a year old. I need to get rid of it. Yeah. I've had it too long. A year old. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you bastard. All right. Yeah, I'll have a car eventually. It's fine. So, yeah, I had a great Christmas. The kids had a great Christmas, Sharon. We, it was a ball. The family was awesome. Huge family party. I got stacks of Lego. I just got a lot of Lego. Yeah, a lot of Lego. Everybody was buying me bottles of wine at work, man. I got, like, bottles of wine. It's crazy. What I got all this um, Rogue One Lego and, like, Force Awakens. That was on. They had 24 hours of Force Awakens, I think, today. Damn. Really? It was constantly. After one, I was like, Damn. Yeah, but anyway, getting back to Doctor Who, uh, I would suggest you watch the Christmas special. So, what if, what, what if I give it a scathing review? <laughs> well, you can give a scathing review of Doctor Who if you don't like it. I mean, when's the last time I liked an episode of Doctor Who? Oh God, was it like the Girl in the Fireplace? I don't know. How long ago was it? No, it was the Day of the Doctor. That was the last one I liked. Okay, and not a lot of people like that. Do you know how bad it is that Moffat comes out and says, Yeah, I was depressed during Series 7, so it wasn't very good. I'm like, dude, why you sh shut up? Stop talking about it. But I got to tell you, like, they had all comic booky stuff in there. Spider-Man, Thor, Avengers, freaking Superman. Yep. The Doctor's like, with great power comes great responsibility. I'm like, what? Damn. It's craziness. Yeah. You know I'm happy he did that. But uh, Hey, as bad as Doctor Who is right now, it's not as bad as Suicide Squad. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, Suicide Squad is going to be, you know, promoting that whole universe or portion of that universe. But anyway, sticking back to this real movies cast. So you're not excited about series time? Not even a little bit? I'm going to watch it. But aren't you excited? Maybe we'll see what the toilet looks like in the TARDIS. <laughs> that might be exciting. No? That might, hey, that might be Missy's TARDIS. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I got his, what was that weird space suit he had on? He's like, listen, I'm not wearing that orange. He's got a new space suit instead of that orange red thing, whatever. He's like, nah, I'm, I got to have my own. That's pretty cool. And then, then we had this, those strange robots with the whole, unless that, oh, that was from the emoji episode. Yeah, I'm not really, you know what it is? I, I'm, I, again, I, I can't be, I have to make a negative critique about that. The emoji monster, emoji. It looks like the robots from the girl who waited with a new hat head. Yep, yep. I was wondering exactly where those Exactly the same. Mm hmm Okay. Can, I, can Jason Alexander be the next Doctor? I don't know. That's an George Costanza? No. George Costanza is the next Doctor? You never know. Do know the guy who played Newman. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Michael Richards! Kramer as the doctor. Oh god. You know he was actually somebody hey, wanna come on my TARDIS? Yeah. Wanna come on TARDIS? <laughs> yeah, of course he got in trouble for some uh, little That was a while ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. But All right. uh, but I will say this much, uh, the guy who played Kramer, I thought if they ever made a remake of uh Shada, I had him playing the fourth doctor. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, Alright, so you are you gonna see series ten or no? Oh yeah. Yeah? I'll work. Yeah. All right, good. I was trying to get the kids to watch it. Hopefully, they'll watch it tomorrow. Um, the Christmas Series ten. Is already out. No, the Christmas special. The Christmas special. They don't want to. Ah, watch. that shit. They weren't into it. No, they were. Who would watch that? Come on. They were watching Lord of the Rings, the whole thing before. So smart kids. I knew you raised some good kids there with brains. <laughs> I gotta get them back into Doctor Who though, because they're like, nah. Joe's like, it's trash. It's trash. I'm like, oh come on, give it a chance. It's all <laughs> trash. And I'm like, it's not good. It's not good. There's nothing you can do. It's like crazy. It's so hard. I was trying so hard, but they're, they're busy. Well, I mean, it's either play the VR, PlayStation VR, or watch Lord of the Rings, all these other different things they got their Christmas presents. So. Did they get spoiled for Christmas? They got, they got tons of stuff, man. Tons. I told you, before Christmas, I bought them the VR. It was like... Are you buying that? Yeah. It's like 600 bucks. I know. You know? Yeah. Yay. Yes. And I also bought like $600 worth of comic book tr book trades. How much did you spend on? I spent, I'm not going to go into, you know, dollar amount on here, but I spent a lot this year. About four or five books he pretty much did. Lots. <laughs> so, but it was, it was good though. It's, this is a good year. And I did my book too. 2017, did. Matrix Lord enters Wall Street. <laughs> no, no, it's been a great year, and I actually got accomplished what I wanted to get accomplished. I got my book out for sale. Very happy, uh, very happy with the cover. Perfect wish. So, yeah, that, I will say this much: that Perfect Wish cover that is that does look. Did you see it? Yeah, Hayden. Do you see the book? What book? My new book. Not. All right, let me go get it. Talk about Doc 2 only for a second there. Hold on. Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. He did say talk about Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is it. Back up just a bit. There you go, because you only got you only had the wish. You know app. what? Let me screen share it from the. Uh, maybe it's better if I screen share from the other thing. Yeah, you'll be able to find the uh, exit button a lot better than I did. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see where is it. Oh, yeah, Rocky, Rocky Falls on TV. Is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, seven are on. 
to marathon a rocky today. I will say this much: passengers was real good. You sure? Yeah, it was good. Okay. All right. So here, here is the. Uh, I'm just gonna screen share this quick. This ever allows me to. Where are you? Here we go. Good to see it. What do you think? You like it? Got the Freedom Tower, got the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, see golden. It? Nice, right? Is that man, the creepy man, still in there? That's a time travel on the back cover. Who's the guy in the back? Time travel. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and you did the... Uh... Oh, that's a ball. Okay, I thought that was the umbrella again. No, that is the umbrella. That is the umbrella. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. That is the umbrella. Your rainbow. So basically, it's it's time travel. Well, it's love, hate, a little bit of time travel, sci-fi, everything mixed. Not your uh, poetry anymore. That's really. a great title, love, hate, and time travel. There's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, it's uh, you know, twist of sci-fi. I mean, it's got this is the guy's. You know, they call him the Shadow, but his real name has been revealed here and there, and he travels for time to mess up this guy's life. So and now you got the, the girl that's, that's trying to, that's, her, that's his best friend that's trying to break them up, and, you know, she's nicknamed Purple, and that's why we got the perfect wish in purple and black, because the evil haters are interfering with the wish, so to speak. So you got the, the love, the, the sci-fi, action, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, fictional characters, it's pretty cool. So, I'm happy. Have you sold any copies? Actually, yes. Have you? It's it's only been out since the since the I think Wednesday, but I I don't have a total yet. But I did sell some copies. Yes. I've only started reading the book, so that's why I'm not. I haven't gotten too far into it, but. Nice. This from Barnes and Noble. Oh, cool! Yeah, American the Adventure. whole uh, the American Adventures thing. Very nice. So far. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, for now, I'm gonna take a break a little bit from the writing. I think I keep saying that, but then I start writing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really planning. I mean, I, it would be nice if I can get another book out next year, but that's not the main thing I'm really focused on. So, what about um the other series, Songs of Separate? What's the Sorrows oh, of Separation? No, that's done. So is it? Sorrow Separation's been done for a while. I mean, this is tomorrow. How song. is it done? How could it be done? I mean, this is tomorrow's song series. So what happened to the Sorrow of Separation? That was that's gold been for years, dude. But Sammy Carter hasn't finished it yet. <laughs> he only got the first two. That's it's. Where's my paperwork on here? Hold on a minute. <laughs> I don't even have, where's my stuff? My stuff's missing. Anyway, now, yeah, the, the, this is the fourth book in the Tomorrow Song series, dude. Where you been? Uh, away, apparently. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, but yeah, anyway, I just knocked my freaking headphones right out of my ears. You see that? Um, I'm happy about Doctor Who. We're going to get out of this cast now. We'll do everything show. So, thank you, Hayden. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. Take care. Bye for now.